All right, guys, this is getting harder and harder to do. Good grief. <laughs> You're on with Ebony Republic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the name just does not sound right, bro. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, listen, come on. I'm sorry. I can't be on live radio doing stupid shit like this. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, you want Ebony Republicans? <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> Terrence Crawford got me. <laughs> and then they, go, they put on Adrian Brown. We said, oh, no, that shit is fucked up. They put Adrian out. All right, listen, listen. Guys, have y'all listened to the Bob Arum interview or the Eddie Hearns? They both said in a very nice way. I don't know what those guys are up to, but, man, something stinks over there. <laughs> anyway, listen, guys. <laughs> I've been having a lot of Terrence Crawford and, May- and Mayweather's fans come out and say, hey, why are you guys are so being so mean, haters and everything else? And I'm saying they must not have did the research. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Miss Cleo. Bro, BLK Prime, bro. Major suspect, bro. Major. Bro, if you think, listen, I don't want to be a hater. Okay, I just want to talk a little bit about Earl the True Spence Jr., the greatest welterweight of all times. Excuse me, in modern times. Earl has a lot of respect for the ones that come before him, and he looks to take his seat in the great halls of his forefathers who boxed before him and be mentioned in that old great number, going up and yonder. Now, uh, there are two mandatories that they're talking about Earl honoring. Now just, now, just ask yourself one question, because suddenly this big bad rumor that's going around about him vacating these here belts, specifically the IBF and the WBA, most people are saying that that's a great idea, especially if you're talking about your uh, Keith Thurman uh, population, your uh, previous generation before all of these new cats came in here and started doing stuff, okay, um, that generation still honors Keith Thurman. I know I still honor Keith Thurman. He's not my best fighter, but I do follow the rules and follow the system. Keith Thurman does diver- uh, deserve this shot um, <clears throat> for many reasons, and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. Now, first of all, Earl Spence have done everything in the welterweight division in a short period of time. Most people think that we're still in the old, olden days where, where we, we need to go out there and fight 110 fights, maybe see if we get over 50 with that zero. And then we can, that's the standard. That's like the Jordan standard. That's not the Jordan standard. Many of, of our greats and ones who are is the greatest uh, don't even have that damn type of numbers, okay? Um, <clears throat> the, the greats lose. We've created a new boxing system because fi- fighting ain't good if you ain't lost. We created a new system where you go for an O. It's good to, to keep an O so you can, for marketing purposes and things like that, but other than that, there's many fighters that are showing you, man, that old shit don't mean a goddamn thing. You can still lose your damn O. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> and it's just never been that big of a deal. Everybody wants to stay undefeated, but it's not that big deal. So we got Imantes Stelinasis. Let's just leave it that way, okay? Imantes Stelinasis, okay? He's the WBA guy, and a guy they say should go first. Now, he, he's 28 years old. Uh... He looks younger than that. Um, he is an expiring uh, boxer, uh, respected in the ranking system. Um, now, let's just say if Terrence Crawford said, I'm going to fight a guy like that for my tune-up, people would have so much respect for him. Uh, and they would be, be okay with, at least he didn't pick some, you know. So everything stinks about this. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. It's almost like these people just did not rehearse. They would say, let's just rob a bank. We're, going, we, we're not even going to case to play. We're just going to run in. Uh, instead of wearing masks, we got our stocking caps. Uh, we're going to park right in front of the fucking bank. And, uh, you know, somebody locked the keys in the car. 
when we out robbed the bank, got the money. This is what kind of deal this is looking like with BLK Prime. Now, Terrence is not going to post anything <clears throat> at this time because Terrence wants to get his money first. And what he don't know is when money starts having to move around, whether it's coming out of Dubai, Qatar, Singapore. <clears throat> uh oh, you think I didn't know, huh? Uh, Cayman Islands or some other other place. You gotta get into America, write it in, write it off, and ship things around. I want to see it. I want to see it because I know that that's probably that's not gonna happen. Okay. Now, Spence. Mr. Spence, now I hadn't talked to Mr. Spence. <clears throat> I haven't. But Mr. Spence, I believe, feels insulted by even having to take this fight. Because he, his idea was not even to look at this guy, not even to hear this fucking guy's name. I want you to listen to me here, buddies. Listen to me here, pals. Guys, you on Ebony Republicans, please, please make sure you Gmail me at Ebony Republicans. If you want to have some more private conversations pertaining to this boxing thing that you don't want to put on the chat line, things like that, things you notice, maybe inf information that you might have leading to this crazy arrest of these crazy Negroes who tried to railroad uh, uh, <clears throat> Earl the Truth Spence Jr. And we don't mean arrest literally. We just mean just to show the fans that these guys, this is, this is rotten to the core, bro. Look, this company, BLK Prime, is involved with more shit than you can even imagine, bro, like Sin City, bro. These people got attorney uh, leveries against them. They got lawsuits against them. They got liens against them. They got drug addicts, drug dealers they involved with, it seemed like. Crackheads, uh, hoes, pimps, prostitutes. I'm not even kidding. That's the sad part about this. This is not even a joke. So for everybody that keeps coming into my chats thinking... Wait, let me just, let me just back up a second. <clears throat> I was... Uh, born in Mount Sinai Beth Israel Hospital. Let me just be fair to you, because this is not right. And uh, uh, I grew up working hard like every other little African-American kid boy with no father in the house. Got a job at some point. Became part of <clears throat> the Teamsters Local 295. Got a nice job working. One of my first jobs uh, for Airborne Express eventually became DH, D, uh, DSL. <clears throat> eventually <clears throat> grew up became an author, traveled across the world, okay? Uh, everything in between is, is not important, you know, what type of uh, cologne I wear and, you know, my, my grade point average and all this other kind of stuff and my credit score, and I'm not getting into all of that. That's none of your goddamn business. That's not what social media is for, this, specifically this damn social media. But I've been around a little bit, okay? From Egypt to, to Germany to Ethiopia, uh, lived overseas in Dubai. So before you start talking goofy to me, let me just stop you real quick because I've seen this before. Okay. Now, what does that got to do with what I'm saying? You're going to see right now. Now, listen. Earl the True Spence Jr. finds it insulting that y'all would even mention Jerron Boots and this. And I thank you, Boots and Bozy uh, and Philly, for not trying to make this into some crazy stuff, even though Gilly be tripping sometimes and the fans be trying to get things started up like that. Earl is not interested in that. Earl loves uh, Boots. Earl respect Boots. Earl wants to see Boots tie these belts right after he done with it. If he could, Earl would vacate all these hoes and go take them, to, uh, uh, mail them to him anyway. Here, you did these your shits anyway take, and have somebody take them from you. Okay, he respects Virgil Ortiz. Earl Spence respects all of these fighters, including Ugas, for, for, for making that opportunity possible. He respected Sean Porter a lot. He didn't respect Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman was a, he went out like a sucker. But see, this leads me to my next point. The only reason why we have to fight Keith Thurman because it's going to be an insult back to y'all. You got to understand one thing. Mr. Spence, okay, <clears throat> told you he had one fight left. Okay, I'm not going to do what either one of you devils tell me here. You understand me? And I don't mean it by the sanctioning bodies. I mean it by you side cats over there, okay? <clears throat> I owe Keith Thurman an ass whooping. Keith Thurman here believes that this nigga, he done beat the other guys that I beat. And if he would have had that belt, and if somehow me and him would have fought, he would have been the first guy to give me a zero and stop me. He actually beat Sean Porter. People are saying that Keith Thurman possibly could have beat Earl possibly could have uh, 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 tied it up with Earl. Okay, we are not leaving the welterweight without taking out the last of the Mohegans. These other guys don't matter. Sp uh, Thurman is in my era. He was even in the Mayweather era, okay? This guy loses only one time to Pacquiao, okay? 
<clears throat> you guys out here have no freaking respect. You're just goddamn bots and trolls, genetically modified mannequins, okay? Just freaking losers, okay? Freaking guys, you know, you, 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 you guys are freaking, freaking weird, you know? You, you buddies, you know, you, you're strange. You're gonna say that this guy's fucking washed up. He's only lost one goddamn fight in his fucking life. Look at these fucking guys here. These fucking guys here. I slap your face, these fucking guys here. I slap this, hit him with a fucking uh, slap, you know? These guys here. Fucking cats. See how boxing is now? These same fucking guys here, they don't respect rap, they don't respect hip hop. You don't respect shit, comedy, none of that shit. You guys want some dead old left shit. Not what I call it. Media coming at Mr. Earl. Oh man, all of the big guys, the greats. But we gotta get this 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 fight right here with with, with one time Keith Thurman. And I think everybody will respect it. Boots gonna be like shit. Go ahead and get him, baby. You understand me? We gonna show you, no disrespect. We ain't got to listen to what this no talking about we sanctioned. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody sending Earl no mail but no sanction. Ain't nobody sending no Earl. Now listen, no disrespect. I got to call a spade a spade. Bozy, you got to let us know which one you're talking about. Because you said already, when you send in the paperwork to them, <clears throat> they don't respond. Now you're saying you send in the paperwork. Y'all should have sent in the paperwork a long time ago and not even worried <clears throat> what Terrence Crawford had was going to do. Just send in your mandatory work. It'll be brewing. They just say, yeah, if any that he wins, yeah, you become a mandatory. Look, I'm not even going there with that, man. But Earl the Truth Spence Jr. is insulted by trying to take a fight with the WBA welterweight division and, a, and the IBF welterweight division with, 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 with Jerome Boots. And it is very insulting to my client, Mr. Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Mr. Earl the Truth Spence Jr. is a once in a generational fighter, he is a craftsman, he is a stand up and honorable. Noteworthy guy, a distinctive gentleman, a statesman. Earl mixes himself with the likes of Jerry Jones. God is always on the main line. Earl is a man who believes in the church. He believes in helping his local community and town and state and even boosting the economy. He's a stand up patriot, good citizen. Earl is liked by many and respected by all. Even though <clears throat> there's been some very questionable behavior and language spewing out of the boxing community. Now, I'm not going to spend any time on BLK. I just wanted to be the one who rode by and gave the message. Now, all of the peoples who got that time you're going to just read report after report after report after report until you're going to hear Terrence Crawford try to get back into negotiations with Earl the Truth Spence Jr. They're going to leave him no choice. He's not going to fight that guy. I'm telling you right now. Let me be the first to tell you. That fight won't happen. He's not going to get the $10 million. This company may be dissolved in a matter of seven days or not. I don't know. BLK Prime. It's fishy. It's weird. There's a lot of things going on. I would love to see if any that this is a good investment for boxing, for the fans. They're trying to do something good, and we're misunderstanding them. We, 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 we got it twisted. I would love for that to be fixed, and I would love for them to get that straightened out. Other than that, this is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in modern-day sports to come up and happen. And right up under our nose, and as fast as they come in, as fast as they're going to go out. They made a lot of silly mistakes. One was screaming out about, out about how much money you got. How much money you got. You got major sanctioning bodies, bro. Do you understand what these guys are doing? They're trying to revolutionize boxing in a way. You can't just come on no niggas block like that. You understand me? Acting like your, your ass is Netflix and shit. You know what I mean? Giving out guaranteed 10 million. Come here, AB. You want 10 million? Who else is out there need 10 million? We, got, we just giving 10 million away. Guys, this stinks to high heaven. Earl the Truth Spence Jr. is not going to fight either one of those uh, mandatories. We're going to fight uh, uh, Keith Thurman because we will 
clean up the entire welterweight division. As far as we're concerned, you're not even a welterweight. You're not going to be honored and mentioned in the great welterweights. You just came for a few funky-ass fights, got a funky-ass belt, and that's all you did with it because you wasn't man enough to let's go to the limit and push it to the limit because you're just a freaking guy there. But you deserve what you're going to get. Guess what? All this little funky, shaky shit you just did, baby, Paul, guess what? You're going to bite yourself in the ass. People are going to remember this shit, baby, Paul. They should strip your ass from that belt from doing illegal practices. <clears throat> With this BL, <clears throat> BK, BK, uh, BLK Prime, they should. They look, I'm out of here, man. Y'all have fun with it. We stand out of this. In fact, I ain't reporting on that shit no more. Okay, I want my name to even be attached with it. 